Hello guys, so this content will be very helpful for you. So I'm going to teach you how you can set up auto indexing of your articles whenever you create a new blog post. So you don't have to manually submit it to Google Search Console. So what you can do here is whenever you tick publish on your uh, blog post, it will automatically uh, send that to uh, Google Search Console and you know, uh, the API will uh, process the indexing for you. So uh, you don't have to do extra step because you know, whenever we uh, create a new blog post. So for example, this blog post that I have, what we do is we usually uh, copy the URL and we go to our, you know, um, Google search console. And then from here, we will type that and suppose the URL is not yet indexed. So what we will need to do is, uh, you know, request indexing. Uh, so in that way, uh, this is okay if we are publishing just one post, but what if we are uh, publishing like uh, 10, 20 posts and we don't have to manually, uh, we don't want to manually type each and every URL in Google Search Console and do request indexing. So this is uh, the way you can set up uh, your uh, WordPress to automatically send that every time you publish an article. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do here is uh, uh, create new articles uh, so that we can send this to uh, Google Search Console, okay? now. I'll copy this and again, go to your favorite uh, article generator. So for me, I'm just using article AI generator because it's simply the easiest way for me to generate article for you. It's up to you if you ha uh, have any uh, familiarity with other uh, article generator tool. But for me, I'm using this because can you simply paste here and generate blog articles? And you can see right here, I'll just choose to uh, post directly to my WordPress. And of course, I want a featured image to be uh, generated uh, along with my article. Okay, right here. And here, I can add my site right here. So I don't have to, uh, you know, every time I generate an article to type the credential. So let me just do that. So I'll add my site. Okay, and then the, of course, the credentials. Okay, and then I'll save that. Okay, so now every time I generate bulk articles, I just have to select the site over here, right here, by manifest. So I'll select that, and as you can see, it auto-populates the user and password. Okay, now let's generate my uh, 10 new blog post. So I'll copy them, paste it right here, and choose just the medium then. And of course, I want to have images for my new articles, so it, they will look good. I'll keep the image style as digital art. Of course, paste it directly to WordPress as draft. Okay, for now, I'll choose draft, so I can show you how you can uh, submit that automatically to um, Google Search Console. Okay, now we're ready to generate our articles. So let's do that. And let's go to generated articles to see the, um, to see the uh, uh, status. So let's wait for some time. You can click on refresh page. You can see they're generating. Okay, so as you can see, some of our uh, articles have already been generated. So we can take a look at uh, the generated articles. So they have their own uh, uh, featured image too. So when you go directly to the post, so you can see here all the new generated articles, uh, they're all uh, completed. Now, when we edit each of them, you can see that they have uh, automatically have our featured images, right? So let's check some other articles to see whether they have the featured image. So you can see here, we have a beautiful featured image. So let's just check the preview. You can see very beautiful. We have the featured image as long as the well-formatted SEO article right there. Okay. Let's refresh. So all of them have been completed. Now uh, we can now submit them to uh, Google Search Console after the setup. Here, after the uh, articles have been generated, if we want to publish an article, so uh, as I mentioned, like. Uh, we don't want to, you know, manually copy the link and then said that then click on request indexing. So we don't want to do that manually. What we want to do is, uh, you can see here, right here, for example, I want to publish these two articles. So look at this. So I'll just take these two and click on, um, edit, apply. So I'm publishing these two articles. So status will be published and then update that. And you can see right here, they got published and you have this message. A recent published post has been automatically submitted to Instant Indexing API. So here, if we go to uh, Instant Indexing, you will notice that uh, they're here 
you will notice right here we have 198 over 200 so we can submit 200 per day okay so as since we submitted two articles so now it's we are left with 198 so that means we have correctly set up our api okay now here another thing you can do is uh you can also take everything okay and then uh do a bulk uh, submission like uh i showed you or you can just do quick edit here if we want to so I publish an article and when you update again it will send it automatically to instant indexing google search console or when you go inside an article and you click on publish then again it will directly send that to uh, instant indexing without having this uh, you know manually sending this without manually sending this uh, individual url to google search console here right here so in that way you can save some time uh, because every time you generate multiple articles and plan to uh, send that manually to google search console you won't uh, do them you won't have to do them manually okay so what you're gonna do is uh come here to add new plugin and in the search you will type in instant indexing all right so just search that and this is what you want to uh, install instant indexing for google by roundmat so you you will find this roundmat se also don't install that it will have a lot of you know uh, options so we don't want to confuse uh we don't want to be confusing so just install it instant indexing for google by roundmat okay so just install and activate that once it's activated one well what we have to do is i mean come to roundmat and then you will see right here instant indexing so just click that don't go to dashboard so go to instant indexing okay so from here we will need to set up our api in order for us to you know to uh, uh complete the process all right so what uh it does is for example you have multiple url and you want to submit each of them so you can just do that type all the url and then send to api you have to uh do a quick setup okay so come right here to google api settings as you can see i already have my google json key so this is required in order for you to set up the uh, api so here uh you just click post and then click on save changes once you do that when you come here to your post okay let's quick refresh so you have an option here look at this instant indexing google update so every time you create a new article uh, you you have this option and at the same time you can also do this and bulk action select instant indexing google update you click on apply it will automatically send to your uh this one google search console in the web in the url that in the domain that you set up so i will show you how we can connect that so first what we have to do is we uh they have this uh they have this uh page where you can follow but in order uh, for you to understand better so i'll i'll give you a work walk through on that one so here the first thing you want to do is uh here in this in their pages start by heading over to google cloud platform so you click that okay you, you go to uh, google cloud platform so once you go to, to to that you will see this page okay so here in this page uh, as you can see i already have one because i created but in in your case if you haven't created anything so this will be plum what you have to do is create project okay so here you can name anything uh, let's say uh, my website seo and then organization you can give it as no organization i mean so just click on create so going back so you will see this okay as you can see no organization but um yeah once you created a project which uh, was mentioned here so as you can see here you created a project and then you click on create now you have to enable that so in order to do that so come right here you click that and once you are inside that project that you created click this enable adi and click on enable or well, you will see this page right here once you click that project so you wanted to select this confirm project and then click on next so here once you click on next okay once you click on next and then uh, what you want to do is uh, click the second one enable api right here enable api and then click on enable so it's enabling okay once it's enabled that's all good now okay so you, we're ready to go to the next step here in step number three steps to create service account so uh, uh we will have to create our service account uh this service account will be uh, required in order for us to acquire this uh you know this json key okay we have to you know uh, put our json key here from the google search service account in order for our site to be connected uh with the google search console okay so to do that uh once you are once you access your google search uh right here 
your uh, service account, you will be landed into this uh, page. All right. So uh, you will you will have uh, this page as planned as I created already mine. So as you can see, I have mine already. But in case you don't have yet, so just click this one, create service account. Okay. So here, service account name, it's up to you. Again, you can put your site, okay, uh, or the name of your company or whatever. And then this one, service account ID, you just need to generate that one. Generate that ID. And once you generated that ID, make sure you copy this uh, because we will be needing that uh, later. Let me paste that uh, somewhere so that I, I will uh, I will be uh, able to access that shortly. So once you have that, just click on done. Okay. So once you created your service account, you will see uh, something like this. Okay. Now, in order for us to get the uh, this one, the Google search uh, JSON key, what we have to do is in this service account that you created, okay, come down here, okay, and then click this manage keys. Okay, we will create a new key. So as you can see here, I have this manage key, which is already here. Okay, but once you created a um, key and you click on done, you won't be able to see this again. So make sure you save the manage key. Okay, so what you're going to do is create new key. All right, create new key and make sure you select JSON. Okay, now once you click on create, all right, um, you, this will automatically uh, save on your computer. So uh, you close that and you open your download page because this will download um, in your, um, you know, in your uh, uh, personal computer. So now go to your downloads and then open that JSON format. Okay. Okay. Once you open your JSON format, you will see something like this. Okay. Now what you want to do is uh, uh, copy that. So that is the JSON key that you want to enter here. Okay. So paste that right here. Okay. Paste that right here. And once you paste that, you take a post so that every time you publish a new post, it will automatically send the API. Um, it will automatically set, send the URL to Google Search Console. Now you click on save. Okay. Now once it's saved, you will have this uh, option, but that's not the last step. The last step is if you remember, um, we copied this, uh, this one right here earlier when we were creating uh, our access here and you were creating this. So what we're going to do is uh, copy this copy the service account. All right. Now go to your Google search console. In your Google search console, uh, select your site, which you want to connect to uh, the uh, instant indexing API. Go to settings. And then right here in the settings, you will have this user's permissions. Okay. So click that. Now click the add user. Once you click the add user, just paste. Okay. Just paste the email, not the JSON. Okay. So let me just copy the email. Copy that. Click on add. As you can see, it's adding the user. Okay. Once it's added here, you'll see right there, it, it, we are ready to go. Okay. So now make sure you, you have the correct JSON key. Again, save that. Okay. In case you have any update on your article, let's say, for example, I want to change categories right here. So again, bulk edit. So these two belong to, um, belong to uh, manifestation practices, right? And then I'll just update them. Every time you do updates on your article, again, it will automatically uh, send the updates to Google Search Console without you doing the manual work, okay? This video will guide you through on to set up your auto-indexing uh, on your WordPress website. If you have any question, you can just uh, leave the comment below. Okay, so that's it for now, and thanks for watching.